Hey, thanks for joining Colette and I for a chat. Now, this one might be familiar with a lot of parents and maybe even with your children. Teenage drinking. Um, that's something that I guess affects a lot of parents who have teenagers or maybe even their peers, their, their kids' peers. Um, so how do we manage this teenage drinking? Is it a problem? So what's actually very encouraging is that we are now seeing statistics to say uh, in Australia and many countries around the world, not all, mm -hmm. uh, teenage drinking has actually declined. Right. So that's quite encouraging. Teens are actually making, making better choices around alcohol mm -hmm. than we did yeah. when we were young. Yeah. And that's, that's fabulous news. So I think teenagers always get a bad rap and this is a wonderful statistic to talk about. The problem is that teenagers who are still still drinking. Mm -hmm. They are drinking at dangerous levels. So right. serious binge drinking. Right. And we're really concerned, particularly because we know that a lot of sexual assaults or um, regrets around sexual activity happen when you've been drinking. Mm. Now, how can, as parents, we talk to our kids about this? Because I know a lot of teenagers would be experimenting. Yes. So where is the line drawn between being an open parent but also telling your child, steer clear? Well, interestingly, on the parent side, one of the reasons that there is this decline is actually this uh, reduction in parent supply of alcohol because parents right. are becoming aware of the dangers and the detrimental effects to the developing brain. Yeah. So we know that it, it inhibits the way uh, teens can plan or yeah. think ahead. It impairs their judgment. There's yeah. a lot of bad decisions that happen and uh, it damages the brain. So parents are, are tending not to supply. Yeah. The interesting thing is the myth that we even experienced when we were growing mm -hmm. up was, well, if I give my child alcohol in my home in yeah. a safe environment in small quantities, they will actually make more responsible choices around alcohol. Mm. The opposite is actually wow. true. Wow. When parents supply their I'm children... I'm surprised by yeah. that, Colette. I'm really surprised by that because I actually grew up in a time where some friends' parents did supply alcohol so because they I. thought it was safer than having your children go and drink in the park or some yeah. dingy place. So. And the opposite is true. We actually see that when parents supply their children with alcohol, right. those children go out and drink at higher levels and, and more dangerous levels when they are outside their parents' home. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important for us then just to be careful with our teens when they go out to parties. To say to teens, just say no, is crazy. Yeah. I mean, the peer pressure is enormous. We actually need to give them scripts to say, safe outs. Oh, you know, I've got sport tomorrow or I've got a really bad headache or mum, uh, my mum's got to pick me up, she forgot it's grandma's birthday or yeah. give children options before they get into that situation. Also, peer pressure, positive peer pressure, is powerful. Yeah. So when our young people ha have begun to learn that ma the majority of their generation is choosing to drink less, yeah. that is actually having an effect on their choices. I love that. And I also think as parents, we have some sort of responsi a, a responsibility to our yes. children to model better behaviour. Absolutely. Behavior. I think the way we behave around alcohol and our relationship yeah. with alcohol speaks volumes. Yeah. And so that's a very important part of the equation. Yeah, look, I think it's something that you can't stop, but what you can do is think before you drink and take some of these tips that Colette has shared with us today. And I think also what's important is that if people are struggling, they, they seek professional oh. help and seek advice. So important. Get that professional help.